Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, complex numbers week three review. So these are the three questions that we're going to be looking at today. So make sure you guys pause and just try these three questions and then I'll go through each one of the questions with you guys. Okay, so let's do the first question. So with the first question you've been given the complex number 3 plus 3i and that's denoted by u and then you've got the conjugate of it is u star. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down u equals to 3 plus 3i and then conjugate of u is 3 minus 3i. So what I've asked is I've asked to find the values of modulus and argument. So first I need to put the complex numbers together. So I've got u times u minus u uh, conjugate. I just realize that's going to be u conjugate. So then we have 3 plus 3i multiplied by 3 plus 3i minus 3 minus 3i. So what we're going to get is 3 plus 3i and we have 3 plus 3i minus 3 plus 3i. Simplifying this further we're going to get 6i. So we've got 18i plus 18i squared and this could be written as 18i plus 18 times negative 1. So our complex number is negative 18 plus 18i. So we need to figure out what the modulus is and the argument. So because this complex number is at negative 18 and positive 18, so that's where the complex number is. And it's going to have a modulus of this light blue line. So if I look at that, I've got 18 as the base, 18 as the height, which means I can work out the hypotenuse, which is going to be 18 squared plus 18 squared and the square root of that. So that's what the modulus is going to be, which is square root of uh, 324 and 324, which is 648. Now I'm going to leave the modulus as that, folks. So modulus of u times u minus u conjugate is going to equal square root of 648. Now, when I want to work out the argument, the argument starts from the east direction and it goes anti-clockwise. So I'm looking for this angle here. Now, what I do know is I know that because this is 18 and this is 18, it's an isosceles triangle, so this is going to be 45 degrees, which means the purple line, purple angle is 180 minus 45, that's 135 degrees. So that means we can write argument of u minus u minus u star is going to be 135 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at the next question. Okay guys, so in this question we've actually got um, z equals to x plus i y. And we're trying to prove this particular um, equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute z into wherever it is. So first off, z is x plus i y. Then conjugate of z equals x minus i y. So we have 4 times z, which is 4 times x plus i y. Minus i times z conjugate is x minus i y. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this and then equal to 5 plus 10i. So we can put it in here anyway. So when we expand this, we got 4x plus 4iy minus ix plus i squared y, and all that is equal to 5 plus 10i. So then we have i squared equals to, uh, before I do that, let's get the, to this, i squared equals negative 1, so that's going to be negative y, and we've got 5 plus 10i. So looking at the real parts, the real part says 4x minus y equals 5, 4x minus y equals to 5. Looking at the imaginary parts, I've got negative uh, ix plus 4iy equals to 10. Now, because I'm doing simultaneous equations, I don't have to worry about the i's. So my two equations are going to be 4x minus y equals to 5 and negative x plus 4y equals to 10. So, rearranging the top line, I'm going to get y is equal to 4x minus 5. 
which means in the second I can substitute um, y in the second equation as 4x minus 5 and that is equal to 10. Expanding this I'm going to get negative x plus 16x minus 20 equals 10. So we've got 15x equals 30 and x is equal to 2. And if x equals to 2, we got 4 times 2 minus y equals to 5. Actually, no. Let's say y equals to 4x minus 5. And we've got 4 times 2 minus 5, which equals to 3. So z is equal to 2 plus 3i. Okay, that was a merit question from, I can't remember which year, guys, but it was a merit question. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so in this question, you're asked to sketch the region of the points representing the complex number z given by this condition here. So remember with this one, the first step you do is you write down z as x plus i, y, and then you obviously trying to work out the modulus. So you're trying to figure out the modulus for uh, x minus 2 plus i, y plus 2i, and that has to be less than or equal to 3. So then the modulus is looking at the real values, which is x minus 2, squared, plus, then we look at the imaginary part squared, so we've got y plus 2 squared, it has to be less than or equal to 3. So getting rid of the square root, we're going to have x minus 2 squared plus y plus 2 squared is less than or equal to 3 squared. So we need to sketch the region for this. Basically, we've got the center at positive 2, negative 2. And it has a radius of 3. That's my circle. Pretty ugly. But I'm looking for less than or equal to, which means I need to shade everything inside the circle. And I actually have a solid line to prove that it's less than or equal to. All right. So just to keep in mind, if it was less than 3, then I'd put a dotted line like that. But because it's actually less than or equal to, I would need to actually include it as a solid line. And that's how you do this question. All right, folks, that's it. Thank you for watching. Any questions, pop it in the comments below and see you next week.